Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, circle with the center O as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, point uh, B and this point uh, C are our points of tangency. And furthermore, uh, this angle uh, BAC is uh, 74 degrees. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, angle X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let me go ahead and connect uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, B and this uh, point C as well. As you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram. And as a result, we got this uh, angle uh, B O C. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this is uh, our angle uh, at the center and this angle uh, BAC is our angle at the circumference. And now let's recall the central angle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle at the center is uh, twice the angle at the circumference. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be two times uh, the angle at this uh, circumference. So it's going to be a two times 74. That means uh, this angle has got to be 148 uh, degrees and here's our next step let's recall the circle uh, theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees as you can see in this uh, diagram and this angle between the radius and the tangent line is uh, 90 degrees so no wonder these angles this one and this one have got to be 90 degrees each because these are our two tangent lines and these are the radii. And now let's focus on this uh, angle X. We know that this angle has got to be equal to this uh, angle since these are our uh, vertical angles. So therefore, if this angle is X, then this angle has got to be X as well. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, quadrilateral uh, BOCD. And we know that the sum of the angles in any quadrilateral is uh, 360 degrees. So therefore, the sum of uh, these angles, this angle, this angle, this angle, and this angle must be equal to 360 degrees. So let's go ahead and add up all uh, these uh, four angles. So therefore, let me go ahead and write down this uh, 90 degrees uh, plus the next one is 148 degrees uh, plus uh, 90 degree again plus uh, angle X. Uh, and we know that this must be equal to 360 degrees. Now let's go ahead and add the like terms on the left hand side. If we add all these angles, uh, that's going to give us uh, 300 and 28 degrees plus angle x equal to 360 degrees and now let's go ahead and subtract 328 degrees from both sides this is gone so therefore our angle x is going to be equal to 32 degrees so therefore our angle x turns out to be 32 degrees and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.